What's up guys, Ruff here and I am back with another Genshin Impact video for you guys today and today we are diving in to the Marvelous Merchandise event details as you guys can see from my, my jacket I like Halloween. <laughs> it's just something I like. And one of my favorite things of being a gamer and one of my favorite things come October is, yes, I love the horror games. It's always fun. The horror movies are always great. But the Halloween events that games bring to their games. And I think that this is the closest thing we're going to get in Genshin Impact for a Halloween event. Now, I have been waiting and expecting one of these. And honestly... As of a few days ago, I didn't think that we were going to get a Genshin Impact Halloween event, but here we are, and they're dropping it out. So let's dive into it. Obviously, we can see they tweeted this out. Uh, you know, dear travelers, the Marvelous Merchandise event is available for a limited time. Travelers can complete requests from Liban the Merchant to receive a chance to open a box. Oh, Mir Marvels. Marvels. I almost said Miracles. Uh, check out the details here. So I have that open right here so if we go here obviously you can see like the pictures of all the presents which is why i have a feeling it has something to do with halloween like if, if they released this in like end of november december i would have thought it was maybe like a christmas holiday kind of thing because the presents but the fact that it's so close to halloween i feel like it's pretty obvious so if we go through here the marvelous merchandise event is available for a limited time and the corresponding missions have been added to the battle pass complete them to claim battle pass experience so obviously that's super nice it's going to give you guys a chance to complete the battle pass i think we have 17 days left to complete it i know i'm getting pretty close so definitely get on that grind it's going to help you complete your battle pass faster uh so what we see right here we mission criteria in battle pass missions this battle pass period travelers can complete requests from live in the merchant to receive a chance to open a box of marvels so obviously it started today actually no it starts in two days i lied um, so this is going to be starting at two days at four o'clock. I don't know. I, I think that's 4 a.m. Uh, you know, if you're looking, well, I guess it depends on where you live, right? But yeah, it's, it's they don't have a time. To, this is weird. They don't have a time zone. So it just says server time. So I'm, I'll have to look up and see what their server time is. I think that it resets at like 3 a.m. my time, maybe four, but it'll be going from the 26th to the 2nd of November. So it's going to be about a seven day uh, event. Uh, no, wait. Yes. Yes, maybe. Yes, seven day event. Uh, you got to be adventure rank 12 or above. So I feel like almost all of you guys are probably there unless you're brand new to the, you know, the game, but you could hit adventure rank 12 pretty quickly. Uh, so let's just go through the event details here. During the event, travelers may follow hints across Tevat to find a merchant known as Liban. After discovering his whereabouts, travelers may submit the required materials to him in exchange for a chance to open a box of marvels and claim the rewards inside. Liban will appear at various locations across Tevat throughout this event period. Liban will offer travelers a total of, and this is important, seven different boxes of marvels. Each box can only be obtained once, not used, or once. Travelers can only gain one chance per day to open a box of marvels. If the chance to open a box for the day is not used, it will remain available until the event ends. If necessary, travelers can use all of their chances at once anytime before the event ends. Once the event is over, any unused chances to open boxes of marvels will be lost. Don't forget to use your chances to claim rewards before the event ends. So it's weird because it sounds to me like they are aiming for us to open a box every day over the course of the seven days. But then the fact that it specifies that you can use any remaining available towards the end of the event i don't know if that means you can ignore it for six days come in on the seventh day and get all seven boxes i feel like that's what it's saying but if we've learned anything from genshin and the way that they handle things daily and and the way that they've handled the resin system that just doesn't sound like genshin like to me the idea of yes you have to log in every day get your daily box and if you don't get it you're shit out of luck I, I don't know. I, it's just hard to say. It sounds like they're being super dope and allowing people that maybe can't check in every day, get them all as long as you check in by the final day. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. So we don't even have to worry about the time. So it says right here, America UTC 5, Europe UTC plus 1, Asia UTC plus 8, uh, TWHKMO UTC plus 8. So I'm sure you could Google that if, if you really, really wanted to. Um, I, I think that's something that could definitely be done. 
obviously. Like that. I just did it for you. You're welcome. But seriously, I'm really, really excited for this event. I want to know more about it. I want to see what they're going to do. What I'm most excited for is I want to know what is going to be in the box of Marvels. You know, like, I think that's the biggest thing most people are ask asking about. So that's what I want to know. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think is going to be in the box of Marvels? Do you think it will be some sort of gliders? Do you think it'll be weapons? Do you think it'll be other, you know, materials and random things? You know, obviously, if we look here, these seems to be all based on the, the little slime creatures. I don't know if that means something, but I guess we'll see as it progresses. But seriously, I'm curious what you guys think. I would love, 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 love some Halloween skins. And even if they didn't implement skins now, I would love to see some like Halloween. Oh, what would be the word? Some like Halloween gliders like a glider with some jack-o-lanterns on it that match my jacket sounds absolutely awesome and i really hope they do something like that but i don't know if they will but we'll see so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you like the video be sure to click that like button if you're new here and you want some more genshin impact content click that subscribe button i will be covering this a little bit more once it actually drops on the 26th so definitely stay tuned and uh i will see you guys in a future video later